Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be going over our Martingale and DCA grid strategy. So essentially, what we're going to be talking about is a few different things. So we're going to discuss how you can go about running the strategy, how the strategy works, and how to set it up. So how to run it, you need a few different things. So you need to have Likely, you would want a premium TradingView subscription. So the reason why is because with the premium, you get endless webhook uh, alerts going on, which is good. So you're not worried about the expiration of your webhook alerts. And when it comes to automation, you want it to be peace of mind. You know, like the point of it is that you're running this stuff. So you're getting a diversification of your portfolio and it's peace of mind in the sense that you know what you're putting your money into is generally a safe strategy algorithm that's going to produce you money slowly over time but it's better than nothing like as you can see here uh, on the five minutes we got 32.6 percent profitability 100 percent profitable over since December 11th, so give or take about two months, 10 days, you know, you got 70 days for 32%. That's, you know, close to 0.45% a day. So, you know, it's, it's not insanely profitable, you know, but it is profitable enough that it's better than not doing anything. And the whole point of it is diversification. So, we're going to go over a few things before we talk even about the strategy itself. And we're going to discuss this in pretty much every one of our automation uh, videos just so you really concretely understand it and you never know which one you're going to watch. So we just want to always discuss it. When it comes to automation, you really, really, really want to make sure that you're automating and stuff that based on how much money you're working with, it's going to sell. So like Bitcoin is generally, especially in cryptocurrency, is considered the safe one. It's got enough, depending on what exchange you're playing in for sure, but like it's got enough volume that you're likely going to be able to sell what you're automating. So the amount you are using in automation does matter. Like if you're trying to trade $1,000, even $10,000. It might not matter what you're trading in. You do want to see what the daily trading volume is of something. So, like, if something's daily volume is fifty thousand, and you're trading ten thousand, that means you're trading literally twenty percent of like what you have in it is twenty percent of its daily volume. So, when it comes to you selling, and all of our stuff is selling at market order, that could drastically impact your profit, and we can't like predict that with our stuff you know what i mean like slippage is one thing but like we can't predict the fact that you're trying to move 20 percent of the daily trading volume bitcoin different scenario i mean like it, it must unless you're tr literally trying to sell 50 million dollars or somewhere around there with our automated strategies you don't really have too much to worry about ethereum somewhat similar they're two relatively safe things to automate. Aside from that, you do want to do your research and ensure that your exchange that you're automating through, through three commas, which is what this video is about right here, is going to make sense. You really don't want what you're selling to be any more than 1% of the daily volume. If it is, find something else and I hate to say it but like sometimes it's gonna be less profitable but hey all of our stuff is for automation sake is built around Bitcoin for this reason it works on everything but it's built around Bitcoin specifically because we expect it to be offloaded easily and not really have to worry about slippage that way our back tests our deep back tests that uh, are uh, our deep back tests are relatively accurate. If we were to build it around like freaking Do Dogecoin or something like that, you know, it's it's not going to be as accurate because the slippage is going to be a lot bigger. It doesn't have the same trading volume as Bitcoin. 
it's just not going to be as accurate. So we build it around Bitcoin because it's the top tier, most traded thing in cryptocurrency. And that's kind of our focus. You know, it still works on stocks, gold, all that stuff. But we build it around Bitcoin because that's our focus. And uh, so just keep that in mind when you're trading. If you're looking for profitability, sometimes you're going to find altcoins where our strategies are insanely profitable like you might be seeing 300 percent a month on but what's the volume that matters you know if the volume is only 400,000 and you're trying to trade 50k on it and it's only 400,000 a day that's a pretty risky thing to do you know if you're only trading 1,000 and it's a 400,000 that's okay and honestly the whole point of our automation is diversification so if you want to put you know a thousand on something that's got 400k volume a day that's fine as as long as you've bat, deep back test it and recently back test it and they both look good to go you're good to go just be careful how much you put on it that's a key point you want to be careful and like the whole point of diversification and automation like with what we're doing here is that you just don't throw all your money on one thing like if you're trading and you're new to trading, or you've been trading a while, you're just looking at a difference of your portfolio, you're looking to make money 24-7, well, this is a great thing for you, because, you know, we're here to help you with uh, making money 24-7, and diversification, but you want to make sure that you're doing it properly. So, we're going to get into the strategy now, hopefully you understand a little bit about that, and we're going to keep hitting you with this, where, uh, you know, you got to be careful, you want to make sure you diversify, you want to make sure you're looking into the vol daily volume of what you're automating, or even what you're trading manually, you, you got to make sure you're looking at this stuff, because this is very important, you want to make sure that when you hit the profit you want to hit, you can offload it, you want to make sure that if, God forbid, you got to, you hit a stop loss, and you got to get out of that thing, you can offload it, you don't want to be stuck in something that you can't offload. That is the worst thing you can do as a trader is that you're too invested in something that has low volume and you can't offload it. All right, now we're, we're going to get away from that right now for a second because it um, sounds too serious in a way. So let's get um, into talking about how this strategy works. Okay, so this strategy is a Martingale grid DCA. So... If you don't know what Martingale is, it's essentially you're buying back in at a fixed percentage below your original. So in this one, we have two Martingales. So if you look at our orange line here, that's our middle of our Martingale. We have it set to, I believe it's 1.5 by default. Yeah, 1.5, or uh, sorry. Yeah, 1.5. So our grid is 1.5% and we are two martingales, 5% between each other. So that is by default. You can set to whatever you want. You can martingale as many times as you want. You want a martingale four times, you go for it. So the whole point about a martingale is that you're essentially strategically creating this gap. So the gap is essentially a way for you to lower your DCA. It's all, Martingale is all about lowering DCA. Now, the only thing is, is that we were at 32.6. We went to 23.75. So you have to be very careful with how many times you Martingale because essentially, if it doesn't, like how way Martingale works is that if it doesn't go all the way down, like theoretically, if it was to go to right here, Two martingales was perfect. That's the most you wanted. That's great. If it went down to here, maybe you wanted three. But how often when the martingales buy and sells are happening between the strategy, is it actually going all the way down that far? Now you could adjust it. Maybe have your second martingale here and your third one here. It's up to you. By default, we have it at two. Uh, it's really up to you. You know, you're going to have to fine test it based on what you're trading. For Bitcoin, we did a fair bit of research and a fair bit of time testing this, and we decided that two with the 1.5 between each, between the grids, 1.5 in here, and then the 5% between here was optimal. Now, 
that's not 100%. You can figure that out yourself. But essentially, the whole point is between Martin Gales is that you're saying, I bought in here. This is where I bought. And that's a grid, by the way. So like true Martin Gale, you just bought in a single time and you'd wait and you buy a single time down here. We're doubling that up. So we have set by default. And where is it? Sorry. Um, it's 100 grids. I know it is. A grid amount right there. 100. Sorry. My bad. So there's 100 grids between this red line and that green line. So there's 50 between the green and the orange and 50 between the orange and the red. So that's 100 buy orders. So the way it is is that our program here, it stacks grids. So if a bar right here was to drop all the way down here, you can see all these different buy orders are different amounts because based on how far it dropped and based on its correlation between the, like the grid and how much it's previously bought, it's affecting how much it's ordering. So this entire grid from red to green, it's 100 orders. But the amount it buys is based on how far it goes down. So the idea is to, by doing so, by stacking grids, if a single bar was to drop through, say, theoretically, 20 grids, rather than buying in 20 times at 20 different price points, we're buying in once when it closed. And that effectively gives you a lower DCA. So your dollar cost average, or DCA, is the white line here. And as you can see, as it slowly orders, that white line goes down. So your actual average, for instance, by here is lower than the middle point. And that's good. That's the whole point of it, is it's trying to average your buy orders in to get you a good entry. And if it was to enter into these lower ones, it would keep buying too. But it doesn't buy between the space between them. That's kind of like a dead zone. Now, likewise, this blue here, that's your take profit. And as it bought, your take profit went down because it doesn't need, it didn't, because your dollar cost average went down, it doesn't need to go as high to hit your take profit percent, which is a fixed percent. So a lot of people are probably wondering, well, if I lower it on a lower time frame, it's gonna work quicker. Well, for this specific strategy for a Martingale for a DCA, it's all fixed around percents. So percents, it's not, it doesn't really care about time frame. The only thing that really is factored in a time frame is potentially your initial purchase setting, which you have a few different ones for what you can pick from. And then you can pick the amount and you can pick the time frame resolution that that condition has to occur on for your initial purchase. And the initial purchase is everything with Martin Gill because the initial purchase is what all of the grids are based around. So this initial purchase right here created these grids and created these grids. And if you had more than that, it would have all the grids below it too, all based on that first purchase. So that first purchase is everything to this strategy. Now, we have tried to find you the most optimal first purchase, which is lower change on a change length of three for a 15 minute time frame. And that even goes on the, we're on the five minute time for right now, though that still matters. So that is what we believed was the best. Now you can fiddle with it. What we put set in as default does not necessarily matter to you. You know, the whole point in our opinion is you want to find what works best on the current time frame. So this is, you know, like we said about 70 days, but okay, well, What's important also is you do a DPAC test, and I believe you need to have a premium trading view to do this, but DPAC testing is very important because it's not only important that something was profitable in the last two months, six months, one year. How profitable was it over the last six years, seven years? You know what I mean? Like, you want to know this. So we're back testing from the first date that Binance has given data to TradingView. We always use Binance for Bitcoin specifically simply because it has the most Bitcoin 
trading volume out of all Bitcoin, and therefore it actually holds the most influence over Bitcoin's price movement. Binance, whenever Binance's price moves a certain way, everything else slowly follows suit. So we specifically use Binance because it's actually the most accurate. Um, so our default settings produce 1,086% profit, 100% profitability. Our strategy does not sell. I mean, you can choose for it to sell at non-profit, uh, but it by default our settings, um, it only purchases if it's lowered to DCA and it's only gonna sell if it has hit 15% profit. So it's, it's never gonna sell for not profit. Now, there is a downside. Um, the downside is that during the, um, the bear run, when it initially happens, you can get locked in a trade for potentially two or three years. Now, we are currently working around a solution. We have just recently released uh, an indicator called BTC halving indicator, and it estimates the high, the low, the start of the halving and the dates of such. And we're looking to implement that data into all of our strategies so that you have the ability to stop DCAing so you're not buying anymore once you hit somewhat near the height of the top. And I will allow you to implement how close to that top you want to stop at. So the point of that is that once you hit near the top, you stop buying because you're not, you no longer need to strategize DCA going up anymore because it's going to drop. And so we have a few options here. We have the ability to, we're likewise going to add it so that you can DCA short going down, or we're just simply going to create some new strategies that are going to go about that type of thing. But we're aiming for the first and possibly the second. So we're thinking that we're likewise, we're going to implement our uh, our analysis of the halfings for when the short when the bear market's going to start, and we're going to allow this strategy here specifically and our other one, our Donchi and DCA, to likewise short during that market crash. So it can do both. So it's DCA, but it's DCA long and short at a one time. So. The only downside is that rather than doing it on spot, which this is, you would have to load it on a perpetual futures market. So it's going to have to be given the ability to short. So it might be a little bit different and not all exchanges might support it. So this is with three commas, keep in mind, you know, where, where we do support other types of automation stuff like OK action, potentially trade signal. So well, you know, we're open to suggestions for supporting stuff. Uh, this video is strictly on three, three commas, um, which does support perpetual market futures. Um, but not all exchanges allow their API to do such a thing. Uh, but regardless, we do not advise leverage. Everything that we advise for our, our current strategies, you know, that could change in the future if we would provide some leverage future trading strategy, our current strategies are all based upon non-leverage. So uh, we're going to keep going back into this. So basically, our take profit percent, you know, maybe you want to change it to 5%. We're going to put to 5%. Our grids are 100. You know, maybe you want to put that to 50. We'll put that to 50. You know, it, it will all impact the purchasing. So you do want the grids to be not necessarily more, or we'll take get rid of the feedback testing so he just simply doing that yeah you can see it's it's gone down a little bit so it, it's something that you can fiddle with you know there's, there's nothing wrong with just fiddling with this, this kind of stuff you know you want to find something that works for you on whatever you're trading likewise what we said it's always Bitcoin for us um, yeah so whatever whatever works best for you so we're just gonna give you an example of maybe you know, Martin Gill. I think we've gone over it a little bit, but we're gonna go five times. We'll see what see what happens. You know, why not? So eighteen percent. So innately, the more times you Martin Gill, the safer it is. So if you're someone that doesn't want to chance losing money, the more Martin times you Martin Gill, it's less risk, less reward, you know, type of thing. But you're still taking in the risk that 
a bear market could happen. So it's always safer to DCA trading, even though it's something that you do when it drops. Dropping always happens. Like, like the price O will always correct a little bit, even during a bull market, which is why DCA is amazing and is very, very profitable during a bull market. Now, it's very unprofitable during a bear market when it just keeps going down because you bought in and you've allocated all your money to, say, even year, 38000 What if it dropped to 20000 you just you stop buying in, all your money was gone, and you're stuck at a DC of probably somewhere around forty three thousand. So now you're waiting for it to go above forty three three thousand for you to sell, and that could be months, years. So that's our whole point of our BTC halving indicator and implementing it into all of our strategies is that it anticipates when this is going to happen and it'll stop placing orders around then. And not only will it stop. You know, potentially we're going to have it so that it can then start shorting around that area too. So, you know, you're always getting the best of both worlds and you don't really have to worry. That will come soon and we'll keep you posted. Please like, subscribe to our YouTube video and our trading view so you can be informed on when these updates happen. Um, now, so why don't we get into how you set up these webhooks? So, wait, before we do actually... Our amounts that you grid trade in the Mouncy Martingale, they're infinite. It's really up to you. So you are always just going to find your sweet spot for that. So all of our settings, there's not too many, but all of our settings, you need to figure it out what works best for you. And aside from that, let's just get into the webhook straight up. So we have created a three commas account just for testing our webhooks and whatnot, which is this. It's only negative because we've been testing some funky stuff just to make sure it's working and yada yada yada. Our actual three commas stuff is a little bit different, but we did realize a little bit has changed and we're going to go over that a little bit right now. So it unfortunately currently does not work 100% one for one the way our strategy does not terribly bad it's not like it's going to cost you a ton of profit per se but the issue is mainly on your initial purchase order so we are an affiliate of three commas and we're in contact with them and we've told them our issue and what we need to be solved to fix this and hopefully they'll help us out and fix it soon but essentially the issue is that your initial purchase is fixated on the amount you have set in here. So we're on a demo account right now, just for practicing sake. So all of our stuff is done on market order. It doesn't really matter that you set it here, but we're gonna do it because it kind of does matter for your first one currently. Hopefully once they fix it, it won't matter at all. Well, I mean, regardless it's market, but anyway, so this first amount here, $20. Unfortunately, that currently matters. It shouldn't matter in the future, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but for the sake of such, until we give you an update, if you are using our strategies and you're following this tutorial and you're setting up your stuff, it somewhat does matter and until we say otherwise. So what you want to do essentially is what really matters when you're setting up your, pro your, uh, your strategy here is the amount you're investing. So you're going to go into settings. You know, properties, and this really matters a ton. So it's set by a million by default. So say you have $5,000. So we're going to put 5000 in here. That's important. Whatever you're trading with and you're wanting to allocate to this bot, you, set, you have to set in the properties here because it's insanely important to how much money it invests for all of its trades and how much money it sends that it needs to invest to three commas. So... We're going to set it to 1,000, okay? So it's at 1,000. Now, how many grids do you have? You have 100, okay? Sounds good. Now, how many times are you planning on Martin Kill? Let's just let's put it on five there. Uh, let's put this to two. Okay. So, I didn't mean to click, but we'll click, okay, we'll click, okay, that's fine. Uh, so, we have 100 and two. So, that's 200. So, you essentially have $5,000 divided by 200. Right? 
Okay, so that is exactly how much you're going to be using for each trade. So like each grid is worth five thousand dollars divided by two hundred. So you got twenty five dollars per grid, and you need to basically account for the fact that each grid is generally when a grid is used, especially when it's a hundred, when a bar goes through, it's likely going to go through more than one grid. Like if this is 50 grids between red and orange, that single bar that dropped down to there in here, like that's, you're, you're looking at multiple grids here. You know what I'm talking about? So just to be safe, if you were using five thousand dollars, and each grid was worth twenty-five, and we'll, until they fix this, it won't matter. Once they fix this, we'll let you guys know, and it will. Th this will not matter. You will not even need to change anything based on what's already set. What we have coded for it to go is good to go already. We're just waiting for them to fix a few things, hopefully. And if they don't, it's not a big deal. This is not honestly going to impact your profitability that much but it might a little bit. So we're just going to assume that your first order is five grids. Now, if you change your grids from 100, maybe that's a little different. So if we're going off $5,000 and each grid is $25, it's 125. Okay, so your first order is $125. And then after that, it's just going to keep it's, it, it's going to be able to invest properly. It's just the first order that's a little finicky, and we unfortunately don't have too much of a say on that. So we're just kind of assuming your first order is going to go through a minimum of five grids. If it went through less, it's not a big deal. If it went through more, unfortunately, that might affect your DCA a little bit. Um, so we're going to go through, it's going to go through five. It's not a big deal. So... We're going to, what you do want to do on your deal start condition. So like what starts the next order aside from this? Oh, well, honestly, all of them actually. Um, so it's a trading view custom signal. So your take profit, it's just like, how do you close a trade? Well, it's likewise trading view custom signal. The entire th three commas essentially just runs the bot through your API. Our strategy does everything else. You don't need to account for anything else. Once we have this fixed, you don't need to account for that either because our strategy will always tell you how much to buy of each. Safety orders, we don't want to account for this either. So everything we're just going to drop for zero. We're not trying to do any safety orders here. So let's make that 2.5 just so it stops giving us error. We don't want any of this. And you're good to go. So we started the bot. That's great. Okay. So what's next? Is the bot started? But every bot has a unique, when you click show, it's got a unique bot ID and a unique email token. So the bot ID is specific to this bot alone. The email token is specific to your account. So it's, you do need to enter both just because it won't run if anything is off. If you, if you just were like, well, I don't care about emails. Well, too bad. You know, you can turn off the emails in three comma settings, but you can't not enter your email token because it just won't run. So you got to enter it whether or not you want emails. Because if you don't enter it, you're, it's not going to automate. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy it from here. Oh, sorry. Something else I want to go over before. It, well, actually, we'll do this first. So you're going to copy your bot ID. Copy it like that. We just throw it into a document, to a notepad, whatever you want. We're going to come back over here. We're going to go in settings, back into inputs. We're going to go down here. So webhook alert type. You're going to click three comments. Make sure you do that. If you don't do that, none of this is going to work got to be three commas what type of alert type so ID copy and paste that right in there go back over copy this bad boy of our email token copy it go back over 
put it right in there. Click OK. Good. Now that's good. It's going to send it properly now. So we click this. We click out alert on the, here. Click notifications. So you're going to make sure webhook URL is selected here. You need that selected. This is proper. To get it, when you load this up for the first time, it's going to ask you if you understand or you want information. If you don't, you simply basically type in how to use three comments custom signals. You go to this page. Down here on number five, enable webhooks, it gives you the URL. You copy this guy, come back over here, and you paste it in here. You know, it's the same thing that's already in there, so you're good to go. Now here, then you come back over to settings. So the nice thing about premium for trading view is it's open-ended. These alerts never die. If uh, you're not on pre premium, they are not permanent, so you're gonna have to keep an eye on it. That's not ideal. You want it to be the whole point of these type of trading alerts and automation trading, excuse me, is that it runs nonstop. You don't have to worry about it. It's a way to diversify your portfolio, reduce risk without you worrying constantly about trading, having to look at your trades. How's the trades doing? You're not having to worry about expiration. You're not sending like, I don't know, like alerts on your phone that you get updated. It's up to you. you know, I don't know your financial situation. Maybe for you, it's best to go on a lower setting and do it like lower than this where you do have to comment on it. Whatever works best for you. So we're going to name this Marangale Demo. Yeah, we'll go with that one then, for sure. And so this is what you need to change. So this is, if you don't know how to do it, click this question mark. I will post all of the information, including the trading view link, um, for three commas that you got to put into the notifications. We're going to give you our three commas referral link, which is going to give you a discount on three commas. We'll give you a permanent uh, coupon code for our website, which is going to give you a discount on our website. And we're going to give you a referral link for TradingView, which will likewise give you a discount on TradingView. So if you don't have TradingView, you don't have three commas, you're not with us on yin yang algorithms. We are going to give you discount links for all three of those so that you can set all of this up at a discount. But essentially what you want to do is when you click this question mark here and you come to here, you're going to scroll down a little bit. You're going to come to here, right here, strategy.order.alert message. You're going to copy this. Make sure you do not have a spacing at the end of it. Click in here, put it in here. There's no spacing, we're good to go. And you click create. Done, that is it. That is all you have to do. Now, we're currently on a demo account, so this is going off paper training, which honestly isn't a bad idea. When you're first doing something like this, maybe if you only have $100 or something, maybe it's okay, it doesn't matter. But if you're working with like 50 grand and you wanna make sure that this is working properly, go on demo. Go on, it's a paper trading kind of account, so you're not wasting any real money. So you can actually see how the trades are looking. You can go in here and you can verify that this is actually trading properly, and you can see it. Because like, if you're like me, when you got a lot of money going on hand, and you want to make sure something's trading properly, you want to make sure it's doing it right. And honestly, in my opinion, I'd rather waste a few days where I'm paying for something and make sure it's working right before I actually put my money on it. So it's up to you, you know, if you're like, I just got to do it right now, then go for it, whatever. We, we've already tested this, it's working, but do keep in mind, there's currently that one issue at the time of filming this video, where we're in contact with three commas and we're waiting for them to get back to us, but the initial purchase, you know, we're stuck to that fixed, per, fixed dollar amount. So, and, and our strategy isn't at a fixed dollar amount. So we're hoping they're going to fix that soon, and when they do... You won't even know. It's just going to start working properly because it's, it's good. But until then, you know, we're stuck at that. Um, and we'll keep you updated. And if you do need to, we will email you. And you may need to remove and reset your alert setting for this. It might need to be done. We're not going to lie. It, it might need to be done. So we're just trying to update you right now before you do it that you might need to do that. Um, 
But yeah, it's not going to impact your profitability too much. But likely it's going to make it slightly less profitable based on our estimations. So we're just letting you know that right now. But, you know, maybe that 32.5 is going to be 28. Not too much, but it's still going to slightly impact it a little bit. Just giving you a heads up. So if you do want to be updated, follow us on TradingView. We're Yin Yang Algorithms. Join our Discord. Uh, our Discord link is in the bottom of pretty much every single one of our premium scripts. You just scroll down and uh, wait, where is, oh right there, yeah, join our Discord community. You join it right there. You know, you can go to our website here and uh, you can also join our Discord coming down here to join our Discord. Our website will show you, you know, some we got our YouTube tutorials on it and whatnot. Uh, you know, you can you can purchase, and uh, we got all of our support and frequently asked questions. Anything you don't understand or don't see on our website, ask us on our Discord. Ask us in our YouTube comments. Uh, send us a support ticket up here. You know, we're always open to what you didn't understand and what you want to know about, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is basically covering how to do this. Uh, so, one last thing. If you're really just like, I want to make sure I'm getting the feedback from the trading stuff to my three commas. So, you're never going to want to trade like this. We're just simply going to show you this because we've done this for testing ourselves, which is why... I, our stuff was negative in that testing. So set the upper lower change length to once, 30 seconds. Take profit probability and put 0 0.01. Um, our martingale percent, we're going to put the 1. And let's click enter. So let's see. You're going to see that the amount of trades that are happening is crazy. So many trades. Oh, sorry, we're going to drop it down to one minute also. Go time. So many trades. Now, if you really were like, I want to see, I don't want to wait six hours to see, you know, like the message is coming through in our events. I want to see that the bot is working and like all that stuff. Well, you can do this and you can see that the bot is working. And that, like, the trades are actually happening at the exact times that it's saying, with the amounts that it's saying. And make sure the, the amounts that it's saying is very important that you, you adjust your initial capital in here. This is the amount you want to trade. So if you have $5,000, $1,000, $500, whatever you're trying to trade, you need to put that amount in here. If you only have $500, you set that to $500. You don't leave it at five thousand dollars. We set by default. We have it a million. So you know, like, if you want to, if you only have five hundred bucks, you better set this to five hundred bucks. That's all you got to change in there, and then, you know, fiddle around with here if you want. Keep it at default. Doesn't matter. But make sure you set this to three commas. Make sure you put your bot ID in there. Make sure you put your email token in here. Boom, good to go. And then on the alert, remember, you have your URL right here. On settings, your alert name doesn't that matter that much. Open ended is optimal if you're a premium account. And then make sure you set this to come back in here if you're unsure. Now scroll down. Oh, I think I passed it by a little bit there. Um, yep, strategy.order.alert message, right? You just copy that and you plop it in there. And you're, that's all you got to do for that. Now, the only other thing was in here was your base order size when you originally set up three columns. So we're just kind of estimating right now. We're going to say it's five times the amount of a grid. So if you had 5,000, it's 125. If you're at 500, it's a little bit different. That's more like 12.5 US dollars for the base. So you are going to have to do a little bit of math currently when you set this up, unfortunately, and we're sorry about that. Hopefully that's fixed soon, and hopefully you don't have to worry about that. But the time of creation in this video is, uh, you know, you, you kind of do got to worry about a little bit and do a little bit of math.
we will keep you informed when that is fixed and there may not need to be an update but there may need to be an update for you where you do close this script off the chart reload it back on because that's how you load an update in trading view is you close it from the chart and re-add it and then you might need to come into here and stop it it's like stop your alert and then remake a new alert based on your trading view stuff and likewise all you need to do is grab your bot ID and your email token when you click this it grabs all of it you come into a blank document you paste it in and it's very easy just for you to copy it out of it and paste it back into our stuff so in our opinion that's the best way to go about doing it um, yeah so likewise you got any questions let us know in YouTube comments join our discord ask us in discord either on the discord or just send us a private message ask us on our web three website through a support ticket and uh, yeah we'll get back to you so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on TradingView so you keep informed on any updates that we involve on any of our stuff so you're never left of the loop or losing profit because of something silly. And uh, yeah, have a great day and take care. We'll talk to you soon.